Jerusalem is about to fall. The Assyrian Empire has marched its way across the region. They have already exiled the Kingdom of Israel, the Ten Lost Tribes, and they have conquered much of the Kingdom of Judah. And now they have set their sights on the capital city, Jerusalem, the city of David, the place where Jerusalem began. Surrounding the city, according to the Bible, with 180,000 soldiers. At the same time, the prophet Isaiah counsels King Hezekiah, telling him to have faith, to not give up, that God will save Jerusalem and drive away Sennacherib and his soldiers. The Bible in 2 Kings chapter 19 says, So saith the Lord, the king of Assyria will not enter here. An arrow will not fall within the city, nor a shield enter it. A siege mound will not be built against the walls of the city. By the way he came, so shall he return. So saith the Lord. Now, what happens next is incredible. The Bible tells us that overnight, a plague strikes the camp of the Assyrian army, wiping out all 180,000 soldiers. It's almost too good to be true. What really happened? Well, in 1830, an archaeological discovery is made in modern-day Iraq, known as Taylor's Prism, which tells the account of the same battle for Jerusalem some 2,700 years ago, only from the perspective of King Sennacherib of Assyria. And it says that King Sennacherib and his armies come and surround Jerusalem, trapping Hezekiah like a bird in a cage. But then the king learns of political instability back home in Assyria, and so he takes his armies and leaves sparing Jerusalem. Jerusalem is saved. So you have the account in the Bible. You have the account in Taylor's Prism telling nearly the same exact story. Because when you're in the place where the Bible happened, the words of the Bible come to life. For more great videos like this one, subscribe to the City of David's YouTube channel. Stay updated with all the latest content.